What's up, Hi-Q homies, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's the What's up, Hi-Q homies? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh wait, you have to come say hi now. You can't just do that. Suki making fun of me. Suki! You never what up? you never got to react to I've a never video. made the cut. Hi Q homies, what's happening? You guys, comment if you want Max to react to season three with me. Bump, set, spoil! You just knocked my mini muffin out of my hands. Guys, I brought this to show you. We have nine more in the kitchen. No, this one's special. Wait, zoom on the muffin. <gasps> mini muffin! <laughs> okay, I need to get to business with my homies. It's a season finale. You're welcome for a dope intro. Yeah, it's a season finale. Thanks for your cameo. Um, okay. Well, now I'm chewing. What's up, IQ homies? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Victoria Garrick here. Today we are reacting to IQ season two, episode 25. It is the finale. I cannot believe we're at the end of season two. I literally feel like it was yesterday I was watching the show in English. <gasps> Good times. Thank you to each and every one of you who has been on this journey with me every single episode, every Tuesday. You're coming back for videos. I love it. It means the world to me. And I'm so grateful to have all of you homies. And I cannot wait for us to watch this final episode of season two. I'm so excited. I don't even know what's gonna happen in this episode because we just won the game. Like you would think that was the finale, but now we get to see like what happens next. Before we dive into this video, I wanna make sure that you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel if you are not already. Subscribe, become an official Q homie. Join the squad. I love my homies. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter so that we can stay connected throughout the week. And give this video a thumbs up if you are so excited. Okay, without further ado, let's dive into the finale. I will not be skipping the recap. It's been two weeks. I need it. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh my God, remember this play? This rally was so insane. Oh my gosh, yes. And then, it, and then he just missed the dig. Oh, and then there was a big. He looks at his hand, right? Yep. Oh my God, that was the best. I feel bad for that squad though, but it's gotta be cross now. was ridiculous. Wait, it's in English. What the heck? Oh my god. Mm, I'm turning it off. Why is it not in Japanese? Okay, I need to rehear that line from Daichi. Shake hands. Nope, no chance. There was no chance. I like this one, but the season one is such an OG. Like that's why they played at the Olympics, because it's like the OG one. Was he supposed to shake his hand? Coach. 
liked that pat. It was like, hey, you're good. I don't even know what to say you guys right now. I'm just kind of absorbing. Pineapple heads. Oh, he's been crying. I really can't believe they lost. I mean, I can believe it, but like, wow. We worked so hard to get to that point. You know, it was like one of my favorite episodes of this entire season, the one about the gears, I think episode 10. I just think that's when like, we really established that next level of growth. I love them together. Kiss, 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 kiss. The great king? Do we call him that? Is that their next game? Wait, yeah, he's trying to tell him he should have gone to his school. There's no way that that dude speaking is in high school. He just gives off absolutely grown man vibes. You know what I mean? I've never seen Oikawa look like that. Intense.
A murder of crows may be able to kill. Yep, goes to show a team that is working together can beat one player that's unreal. So essentially, Karasno versus Oikawat. Oh yeah, this is when he was like, show you from the concrete, right? <laughs> that was the joke that I missed or something. How much we can grow from concrete. I don't get that joke. Wait, is it because the translation is not correct or does Shoyo really say that? Please comment down below and clarify the whole Hinata from the concrete joke because I wanna make sure that I get it. <laughs> God. We're in the finals. Wait, like, I guess I kind of understood that, but I was so focused on beating Abo Josai that I wasn't even processing that, like, when we beat them, we had another game and, like, we kept going. Like, I was like, this is it. This was not it. We're going to the freaking finals. Okay, so then that must be season three. I can't. Nothing better than a draining day of volleyball, winning and then just passing out. I am actually happy Takeda Sensei is getting the recognition he deserves because he was an integral part of the winning. Yeah, that's Daichi. Dadchi. Big tough guy. Oh my god, Daichi is literally Daichi, Dadchi, Deadchi. He's got so many nicknames. Oh my god, this is so cool. The whole school feels so much pride for the team. Oh, this is so cool. What's this? Is this the news? The local news? <gasps> I cannot forget there's a credit that I'm supposed to watch after this episode is over. Don't let me forget. I know you can't really tell me, but mentally, if you're like thinking it, I won't forget it. Damn, 25, 23, 26. That's such a close game. Ooh, actually, 
Who won the most points total? That always interests me. The twos can I'm so bad at math. The twos cancel, the twos cancel. Okay, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 9, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my God. Wait, 6, 12. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 5, 17. Okay, that's Karasano. And then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <gasps> Karasuno literally only scored one more. I mean, total. That's just crazy. They both won so many points, and Karasuno just won one more point. I mean, am I the only one that cared about that? That interested me. And also, yes, I know. I'm very bad at math. Not surprised to me. I'm surprised they're watching and consuming the media this way. And I know we talked about this once before when Karasuno was on TV, I think last tournament, or wait, isn't this all the same year? I get so confused. Regardless, watching the media can really play a role in how you feel about the game. And I know there are athletes who stay off Twitter. They stay off the news because they don't want to even let themselves get distracted by what the people are saying. So I think it's interesting that coach is just kind of letting them sit here watch the tv like i feel like they should be like going home or resting up or like don't focus on the talk we got one more game you know what i'm saying i think this is a little distracting um is my gut thought but i also don't fully know what's really going on so you know and then also if it doesn't affect you negatively then you can consume it That guy's got hair like Billie Eilish. That's what it's been reminding me of. You know, Billie Eilish, where the roots are dyed a color, but the ends are not. How mad would he be in real life if I met him and that was the comparison I gave him? <laughs> Actually, maybe he wouldn't be mad because Billie's a baddie. So much growth has happened in this gym. I mean, this is the home of the first time we saw Nishinoya, of at literally episode one, where the guy's toupee flies off, where we didn't even have a coach. I mean, where, oh my God, remember when Kagiyama and Shoyo had to play Tsuki and, was it Tsuki and Yamaguchi? They had to battle someone to be on the team. I mean. So much has happened in this gym, and now we're sitting here getting ready for the final game. It's just like a pinch me moment, okay? Ushijima. I gotta get his name. Ushijima. Do we call him Ushi? Can we call him that? I freaking love Shoyo's energy. I wish I was that fearless. Ugh, I feel like my fearlessness comes and goes, but Shoyo's just always fearless. Sorry I'm yawning, it's late at night. Go 
to bed, guys. Oh my gosh. Classic. Remember when they were fighting? Oh my god, that was bad. So much has happened. Okay, don't tire yourself out, buddy. Oh no, don't turn to daytime. predicted or said right before it happens this is the weirdest one because I was literally dozing off like remember when they were fighting and then literally she says I had a I'm sorry this is like weird this is weird what if we had a compilation of all the times I did something like this because I really think it's happened so many times <laughs> it's just so wild okay I feel like little cutie it's I think I know how it's spelled y-a-c-h-i I don't know how to pronounce it and I don't want to pronounce it wrong um her name but anyways she's the way she talks and acts it reminds me of that scene from Finding Nemo I think I said this about you show you in the first season but now it's for little cutie where it's like you're so cute but I don't know what you're saying because it's like little squirt from Nemo she reminds me of that when she's like talking to these players and they're just like you're so small and cute <laughs> update on her and her mom they can't just drop that scene on us and like paint this tense mom daughter dynamic and then like not give us a check-in I want to know what mom is thinking now that like she's an integral part of the team you know also when the heck am I gonna meet Shoyo's family I want to meet his parents I want to meet Kageyama's parents I mean I just I want the backstories of the families <laughs> Villager B. You guys, Shoya is like kind of turning into a man. I don't know why, but the way he just spoke right there and like told Kage, like he's 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 aging for me. In like a in like a weird way. I'm like, no, wait, you're supposed to be like this little child. If this continues to season three and four, I don't know. <clears throat> I just got overtaken. If this continues to season three and four, I don't know what I'll do because like I I just can't let Shoyo grow up. He just he needs to be young, you know? He's just so oh my god. All of this makes me want to rewatch the seasons. Now I know why you guys do this and you watch these videos, even though you've seen the show. At first I was like, but if they see the episode, they're not gonna want to watch my reaction. And then you guys were like, no, we love watching it again and again. And like, I literally feel that way. Like I, once I finish season two, I feel like I want to watch, rewatch as I like, you know, in my spare time. The fight's happening again. Mm-hmm. 
She is the definition of protect at all costs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know when you see people say that? Like, I would protect her at all costs. She's so cute. I'm getting very anxious. Can they just like get home and get in their beds? Like. What's gonna happen? I'm worried that like, they're not gonna get enough rest. They're gonna miss the alarm. Like, why are they showing their ride home? Is something gonna happen on the ride home? Like, I, I just like, you know, it's like, why does he have the bike? Is, is, is he gonna fall over and like hurt his ankle? Like, I just need them to be in bed sleeping for the game tomorrow, you know? I just need that. So, hurry up people. Why are they going near a cliff? They could fall. That's pretty. Oh, this music means only good stuff. Oh my God, you guys, I just freaked out for nothing. That was legendary. The two of them finally just like, did you see that? Joining forces. Okay, I'm remembering. End credit scene. You were thinking it, I remembered it. That's that homie telepathy. Let's, let's see what this is. Oh, oh my God, okay, here it is. chef's kiss that was the perfect ending oh my gosh so freaking good i cannot wait to see what happens in season three and then also like what's going to be the remainder of season three because the game can't last like 20 episodes also though i'm just excited to watch this team play because i feel like i'm not familiar with shiratori's shiratorizawa is it i think it's close um, apologies, I'm mispronouncing it. I think it's Shira Torizawa. I'm not really familiar with their team, so I'm excited to learn about them and get some of those backstories. And also, I mean, I just cannot wait to see us play this game because the last one was wild. I cannot believe we made it all the way through season two. Thank you guys so much. I know some of you have been high homies from the beginning. You watched my day one, season one, episode one reaction, and you followed me to this channel to continue watching high with me Thank you, it means the world. I literally love you homies so much. If you see me out in public, please come say hi. I was at the airport and someone was like, hi, I'm a homie. And I was like, ah, a homie. And I gave her the biggest hug. I was like, I love you. So 
I, I just, I can't say it enough. Thank you guys for your support. It means the world to me. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're not already so that you can become a high Q homie and also you can get the videos every single Tuesday when I upload them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter um, to stay connected throughout the week. Also, you guys, this hat is a part of my merch. So if you want to get this hat um, and you also want to check out my other merch available, you can go to the link in my description. And lastly, I will be taking a little break um, in between season two and season three. It shouldn't be too long, but my editor needs a break. Emily, she's worked so hard. She's the best. I... I feel like you guys are like, you don't need a break, Vic. You literally took a break like last week. I know, but I didn't really take my stuff came up. Okay. I just need to regroup for season three. I also want to plan ahead some fun things. I feel like I want to do more things to like be involved and engaged with you guys. So if I just have some time to think about season three, I think that could be really exciting. So um, make sure you check my community page because that's where I will keep everything to update you about Haikyuu, reactions, what's coming next. Once again, love you guys big time. Hi Q homies for life. And before we go, homie highlight. Today's homie highlight goes out to Oliver. Oliver, thanks for watching my videos and being a homie. I appreciate it. And the same goes for each and every one of you watching right now. Don't forget to retweet my tweet about this video and also be subscribed to my channel and give this a thumbs up. And you could be the homie highlight in my next video. Love you guys tons. Moi, I hope you had fun. I will see you back here real soon for...